So in this video, we're going to be looking at a free response question off of the AP Calc exam. This question was on the exam in 2010, both on the AB and the BC versions of the test. And it was one of the no calculator questions. So we have a couple parts here. Let's look at the introduction first. So we're given a region R, and it's in the first quadrant, bounded by the graph of y equals 2 square roots of x, y equals 6, and the y-axis. And we're given a picture of the region, so we can have a better idea of what it looks like. And then the first part asks us to find the area of this region. So remember when we want to find the area of a region, we're going to integrate, and we're going to do top function minus bottom function. So here, our top function is 6. And our bottom function is 2 square roots of x. I'm going to integrate with respect to x, but I need some bounds of integration. So if I look at my picture, I can see that y equals 0 is one of the bounds. Yeah, the y-axis, where x equals 0, is one of the bounds. And then I'm given the point of the intersection of the line and 2 square roots of x. And it's at 9, 6. So my x bounds are going to be from 0 to 9. So now I'm ready to start integrating. So when I integrate 6, I'm going to get 6x. And then I can think of 2 square roots of x like 2x to the 1 half. So when I add 1 to my exponent, I'm going to get x to the 3 halves. And then I want to divide by that exponent. So I'm going to flip the fraction and say I'm going to multiply by 2 thirds. So I'm looking at 6x minus, change this to 4 thirds, 6x minus 4 thirds x to the 3 half, evaluated from x equals 0 to x equals 9. Let's start by plugging in 9. So I've got 6 times 9, which is 54. minus 4 thirds times 9 to the 3 halves. So taking something to the 3 halves is like taking the square root of the number and then taking that to the third. So the square root of 9 is 3, and 3 to the third power is 27. And then when I plug in 0, I'm going to get 0 minus 0. So this is all I have. So let's, let's figure out what this is. First, I'm going to cancel out this 3 and the 27. So now I'm looking at 54 minus 4 times 9. So fifty-four minus thirty-six, which gives me eighteen. Now I don't want to just say eighteen. I want to put my answer in sentence form. So I could say The area of R is 18 units squared. Just sounds a little bit better. And I'm not getting given any specific units, so units squared is just in general. So let's move on to part B. It asks us to write, but do not evaluate, an integral expression that gives the volume of the solid when R is rotated around the line y equals 7. So let me add y equals 7 to my original picture. So it's right up there, but not actually touching the region. Let's try to draw what it'll look like when I actually rotate it around the line. So here's the original region. And there's the line y equals 7. I'm going to reflect the region over that line to start with. and then just kind of fill everything in. So I'm looking at kind of a sideways volcano thing. And the center is cut out. 
and I'm missing a cylinder of radius 1. So let's think about how we write an integral expression for the volume of a rotated region. So we want to think about volume as the integral of area. Well, area of a circle, like a circular cross-section we would get, is pi r squared. So let's start by putting a pi in front of this integral we're going to create. Now let's think about a let's think about a radius. Here I have if I took a cross section I would have two circles, one inside the other. So to find the area of the stuff in between the two circles, I would take area of big circle minus area of little circle. So let's find that outer radius first. Back to my original picture. I'm going to be looking at something like this. So 7 minus 2 square roots of x. And since we want the area squared, I'm going to go and square that quantity. Now let's look at the inside radius. Here in the original picture, this one's a little bit easier to see. This time it's constant. 7 minus 6, right? So I subtract that. and I'm going to integrate with respect to x. So I have pi times outer radius squared minus inner radius squared. The only thing I need are the bounds of integration. And they're actually going to be the same as when we found area. Because if we look in the picture, x is still going from 0 to 9. So I'm going to add those in. So this integral expression will give me the volume of that solid but I don't need to worry about calculating it. That's my answer for B. Now, let's move on to part C. So, C now says that region R is the base of a solid. And for each Y between 0 and 6, so in the whole region, the cross-section of the solid taken is perpendicular to the Y axis and it's a rectangle whose height is three times its base. So write, but do not evaluate an integral expression that will give us the volume of this solid. Let's start by trying to draw this solid so we can get an idea of what we're looking at. So here's another picture of my region. So now let's try to build up those cross sections. I know that the height is three times the base. So for a little width, like here, close to the origin, I'm going to have a little rectangle. And then, like here at the top, I'm going to have a really tall rectangle. So it looks something like that. It's a little bit hard to draw, but think about the solid kind of like rising up as it moves up this way. So let's start setting up that integral. I know my cross sections are perpendicular to the y axis, so it would probably be easier to integrate with respect to y. So the first thing I want to do is change my bounds, you know, my functions. So I have y equals 2 square roots of x. Let's find this instead of a function of x. Let's have it be a function of y. So I can solve. Square both sides, divide by 4. So I get x equals y squared over 4. Now let's start setting up the area of one of these rectangles. We'll start with base. Well, base is just the width this way. Well, I know that this part is y squared over 4. And this part is just going to be 0. So the base of each little rectangle is y squared over 4. Now let's take a look at height. We know that height is 3 times the base. 
So I'm just going to multiply this by 3. So I've got 3y squared over 4. Now I can find the area of what one of these rectangles would be. So 3 times quantity y squared over 4 squared. I just multiplied my base and my height. So now to find the volume of this region, I just want to integrate this area function. So let's start setting it up. So I know I want to integrate with respect to y, but now I just need to figure out what my bounds of integration are. And I'm actually given them. So it says y is between 0 and 6. So I make those my bounds of integration, and that's the integral expression that I'm looking for. Now, I also have the scoring guideline for this question. So let's take a look and see how we did. Let's start back at part 1. So part A asks for the area of R. And here I get one point for the integrand, which is this part, one point for the antiderivative here, and then one point for the actual answer, which is 18. So I got all three points on part A. Now let's look at B. For B, I get two points for the integrand this part, and then I get one point for my limits and my constant. So I have my pi, and my integral goes from 9 to 0. So I got all three points on part b, too. Now let's move on to c. So for c, I get two points for my integrand. They have 3 over 16 y to the fourth, but if I square that, you know, I could always rewrite it as Right? y squared squared is y to the fourth, 4 squared is 16. So I get those two points, and then just one more point for the whole answer, you know, whole integral, which I have. So I got all the points here too. So I hope this gives you a better idea of how to work through an FRQ.